We've been talking about it all morning, the Eagle County Fair and Rodeo, and I've got the queen and the princess here with me this morning, Bailey and Logan. Girls, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like, perfectly in sync with each other. Yeah. You must spend a lot of time together. All the time. Oh, too much time. <laughs> Every day. Yeah. Yeah, we've been, we've been camping together down at the fairgrounds, and it's been a blast. Yep. I would imagine a pretty fun lifestyle to be the queen and the princess. Yeah, yeah. we've been having so much fun hopping from 4-H show to 4-H show, from rodeo performance to rodeo performance, and I think we've really become best friends. I love that. Yeah. So how long have you guys been in the rodeo kind of community? Well, I've been ranching in in the horse community my entire life so I was born into it and then rodeo I started rodeoing competing when I was 14 and I've been doing that ever since wow. and then I started royalty I was princess in 2015 princess in 2017 and now I'm queen this year so it's been a blast congratulations thank on you being queen yeah and then I grew up on a farm up in Sweetwater, and although I never rode horses until I was about 13, I've always been a part of 4-H since I was five. I kind of grew up around this whole community, and the Fair and Rodeo has always been a huge part of my life since I was very young. And this is going to be my 12th year doing 4-H, and this is my first year ever holding a title. Well then, congratulations Thank on being you. princess. So kind of a big deal for people to come down to the Eagle County Fair and Rodeo yes. to see yes. you girls. Yeah, yes. it is. We are, as rodeo royalty, we act as ambassadors for the sport of rodeo, and we're also role models for the younger generation. So we try to act cordially, and we always invite young kids, you know, older people, anybody to come to the rodeo and really truly experience our Western heritage. Which, I mean, I love so much. Yeah. And I love the mutton busting. Yeah. The, the, kids, the kids are great. They, they get on there and we're like, you need to hold on, you need to hold on. As tight as you can go. Like, just, you're not going to hurt the sheep. It's okay. Yeah, it's really last funny because the kids are like this big and the sheep are like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last night's pep talk was I was, going, I was going down the line to all the mutton busters and I was like, okay, this is what you got to do. You gotta grab the sheep, and you gotta look down, and you gotta pretend there's water down there, and there are sharks in the water, and you don't wanna fall in, and they love it. All the kids have so much fun, and I think mountain busting is such a great way to get younger kids involved in the rodeo who maybe uh, have like rodeo parents or have never been to a rodeo. It's really cool to get the younger generation out there on the sheep and raising our future you know, rodeo leaders. Yep. Which is yeah. so cool because rodeo is something that's been around forever and will probably yes. continue to be around forever only because the livestock portion of it, I mean, obviously does wonders yes. for people's like food and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it is something that's going to be around forever. What's the big event happening tonight at the rodeo? So tonight is our Western Heritage Night. So what we do this evening is we celebrate our Western Heritage at the rodeo. And we also have Miss Rodeo America and Miss Rodeo Colorado coming again tonight. They'll be here the rest of the week, so they'll be able to see them too. Yes. So I mean, is that your guys' goal? Uh, yes. <laughs> mine yeah. To be Miss Rodeo Colorado, <laughs> we're gonna try. So. Well, I can't wait to hear if you like succeed in that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're so, we're both so excited. Kelly is really nice. Taylor is so nice. Both of them. And they've been super duper great to us this week. And we're so excited to have them at our rodeo. Well, girls, thank you so much for coming in. I look forward to hearing how everything turned out and yes. maybe hopefully seeing you there. If yes. I come, I'll like come yelling and I'll be like, remember me, I'm the girl that talked to you on TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know the queen and the princess. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come say hi. Perfect. Yes. Girls, thank you again so much for coming in. Have so much fun this weekend. Make sure that you go down to Eagle and you check out the Eagle County Fair and Rodeo and say hi to these adorable girls because one of them could be Miss Rodeo Colorado, which is awesome. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at that full weather forecast, so stay tuned.